raising even more questions. Another object was shot down by a U.S. military aircraft just yesterday, this time over Michigan's Lake Huron, the fourth flying object shot down over U.S. or Canadian territory recently, beginning with that Chinese spy balloon just over a week ago. Now, the three most recent objects have not been identified just yet. Yeah, Rhiannon, and right now joining us are two of ABC's greatest minds, ABC News Chief Global Affairs Correspondent Martha Raditz and retired Colonel Steve Ganyard, an ABC News contributor, former fighter pilot and former defense and State Department official. Lots of hats there. Lots of hats there. Welcome to you both. Thank you so much for joining us. Martha, let's get right to you because you've been talking to U.S. officials. So what are you hearing about these latest three objects? Are U.S. officials saying anything about what they are or where they may have come from? I, I know it's so intriguing, it really is, but I think what's really important right now is to remember that the first one, the Chinese spy balloon, the administration is almost certain that was a spy balloon. It wasn't a weather balloon, it was a spy balloon. And that's the one, remember, that they thought just the payload, that on the bottom, the technology was about the size of three buses. These latest three shoot downs, a U.S. official told me, even though they have not recovered it, they are almost certain these are weather balloon type objects. They do not think they are spy balloons. They don't know where they came from. They don't know, they're not sure about this, but they shot them down just to be certain. And Steve, let's bring you in now. Since the Chinese spy balloon was spotted, a U.S. military official says, quote, they have adjusted the parameters of their radar capabilities in a way that they can now see more than they could before. So the big question is, is this a case of really an increase in objects in the sky or are we just better at spotting them now? In reality, we don't know because we don't know what we missed in the past. Um, what's interesting about the Chinese spy balloon is it was sort of flying in a gap where we didn't have coverage. So the U.S. and Canada for years have had NORAD and their radars look to about 40 to 50,000 feet, where a normal airplane, maybe a bomber coming from Russia or China would be flying. The U.S. is also very interested in space. So the U.S. looks with lots of radars above 200,000 feet. The Chinese balloon was sort of flying in the middle in that gap where we didn't have coverage. The other problem is, is that it's mostly plastic. There's very little uh, metal on there to reflect radar energy. And so this was a case where indeed the tweaking of the radars to make them more sensitive, to look at what's called a very low radar cross section of these balloons to make sure that we're seeing uh, any balloons that might, uh, might come across the US again. Absolutely. Martha, we knew this was going to happen. All of these unidentified object sightings, they're starting to raise questions about the possibility of extraterrestrial activity. What are officials saying? Well, they, they kind of put their foot in their mouth there, Gio. Lots of Twitter saying, are these <laughs> aliens? So a New York Times reporter asked a very you know, serious question to the general who is in charge of NORAD. And the general went to the standard military uh, answer, which is, we're not ruling anything out. <laughs> I think they've ruled out aliens, but that, of course, raised everybody's ears and ante antenna in this case, or, you know, <laughs> uh, foil hats or something, because he said, we're not ruling anything out. I think that was just the standard answer. I have heard no one talk about aliens with these three objects. <laughs> okay, so Steve, you heard Martha, they're not aliens, but what kind of danger can an object like that Chinese spy balloon really pose to the United States? Well, you obviously don't want anything uh, the size of, of, uh, of three buses with lots of uh, solar panels underneath flying, uh, somebody else flying it over your over your territory. Because if, you know, let's, let's say the balloon developed a leak and you wouldn't want that coming down in a populated area. But the real risk here is to uh, the kind of intelligence that the Chinese were gathering. Uh, they have satellites that can do electro-optical, can take pictures. They have signals intelligence satellites. But this balloon was drifting very slowly and had lots of time, lots of dwell time to absorb all sorts of different communication signals to geolocate them. Uh, so that is what the Chinese wanted, this very high quality signals intelligence, very good close to the ground kinds of pictures. So that's where the danger comes in their ability to gather very good intelligence over sensitive areas that the uh, U.S. military controls. Martha, what about politics? Is that playing any role here? Oh, no, of course not, Gio. Of course not. <laughs> yes, I, 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 would, I would say yes. And, but again, I think it's so important to differentiate between what Steve was talking about there, what you guys are talking about there, the Chinese spy balloon. That's a serious problem. And these three 
what they believe are, are weather balloons. But I think part of the reason that we're, we're tracking these smaller objects now is because last week you heard a lot of politicians, especially those senators from Alaska, saying, what the heck, why did you let a Chinese spy balloon uh, go over Alaska, get so close to us, why didn't you shoot it down there? So there's been tremendous pressure on the administration, and I think that probably pretty directly uh, the reason that they enhanced those radars. So politics, yes. Aliens, no. ABC's <laughs> Martha Raddatz and retired Colonel Steve Ganyard. Thank you to both of you. You bet. Oh, they are so great. Mm -hmm. Such a great conversation there. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.